All right, so this is how you solve it without using a calculator. So the question is simple. Uh, the population of a bacteria initially at 90,000 present and present, and uh, in two weeks, there will be 200,000 bacteria present. Determine the exponential growth equation for this population. So it's simple. The same procedure, you always write first uh, the exponential growth equation, um, which is this one. So initially, I mean, initially we had 90,000, and then afterwards it's the, the population grew to 200,000. Then we have e to the power uh, k. The time there is 14 days, which is one week, and I mean two weeks rather. Then when we divide there, divide. So this is for those that are not allowed to use a calculator. So we are going to divide the zeros there will cancel. And uh, when you cancel the zeros there, I'm just going to remain with, sorry for that. I'm going to remain with um, 20, 20 over nine this side. And then you're going to have e to the power 14k. So when you introduce lean, introduce lean this side on both sides, you're going to get the solution to be um, lean 20 over nine being equal to the 14k will drop down so that you have 14, um, so that you have 14, uh, 14k e to the, I mean, lean e. So lean e is simply just one. So if lean e is one, then you're going to have the lean of 20 over nine being equal to 14k. So this part is giving us a one. We know that lean e, the lean of e is equal to one. So from there we can make k the subject and this is going to be k is equal to one over 14 uh, lean 20 over nine. So this is the solution. If you, are not, if you are not allowed to use a calculator but if you are allowed to use a calculator, you can just punch this on the calculator and find the final answer. Then, oh, this is just the value of k rather. To find the final answer, which is the equation, uh, the exponential growth equation, you simply have to say qt is equal to, so the q naught there that we have is 90,000. So the q naught is 90,000. So you can write it there. Or if you want, you can just write q naught. And then you say e to the power, you put the value of k there. So the value of k is one. So why are you not substituting the? Qt. It's the equation that we're looking for. No, uh, the, at, or the first one there. Where? The q initial and between the q initial and e. That's t, you're not substituting it. It's for This one. This yeah. one. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. When, yes. you say, when you say f of x, it doesn't mean that we have to put anything there. If you say f of x is equal to x squared plus one. Okay. Oh, you understand what I mean? Huh? Yeah, so here, yes. it's just the same as what we have there. We have q of t. It's the same, the same as q initial of t. That's the that's a reason why in the first place, I didn't even put this. I, I omitted it for a reason. A lot of people get confused when they see that. So there's no need of you substituting that. Q naught of T is simply just representing the initial uh, value of the bacteria present there. So this is what we have as our exponential growth equation. And then to find the other solution, we now just have to replace the value of T there. I mean the value of k and find the value of t. So if you are not allowed to use the calculator, this is the solution. If you are allowed to use the calculator, you can find the value of this. Oh, I've forgotten to write uh, t this side. So now they're asking us how long it would take for the population to grow from its initial population of 90 to 150. So meaning 
this side where we have uh, Q of T, we're going to replace with 150. And then here we're going to replace with what? At Q naught of T, we're going to replace 90,000 and we have E to the power um, KT. Okay, so we just have to replace the figures there. So Q of T there, we have 150,000. Then we say this is equal to 90,000. Okay, so 90,000 there, and then we have e to the power. The value of k, we found it to be one over 14. The lean of uh, 20 over nine t. So we're trying to look for t here. So we're going to divide everything by 90, this side by 90,000, this side by 90. Thousand. So this, that, 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 these zeros will cancel. So we're going to have 15 over nine, which can be reduced to three, I mean, five over three. So we have five over three this side being equal to this and that will go. Then I'm going to remain with e to the power 14 lean uh 20 over 9 t so we're trying to look for the value of t so to find the value of t we're going to introduce lean on both sides so we're going to introduce lean this side even this side so that we have the lean of 5 over 3 being equal to remember this power is going to drop down it's going to come this side so that we have 1 over 14 lean 20 over nine, uh, multiplying lean E, for oh, there's supposed to be T here. So lean E is known to be one. So to find the value of T, you just have to make T the subject of the formula. So finding T there is easy, it's very simple. So this one is one. So I'm just going to remain with the lean of five over three being equal to one over 14. And then we have the lean of 20 over nine T. So we just divide by one over 14 lean 20 over nine to make T the subject of the formula. One over 14 lean 20 over nine. So this and that goes so that we have the value of T as the lean of five over three divided by one over 14 lean 20 over nine, which can also be rewritten as, we can also rewrite it as 14 lean five over three, everything over the lean of 20 over nine. So this is the value of T. If, that is if you are not allowed to use a calculator, but if you are allowed to use a calculator, then you have to punch that on the calculator to find the solution. Okay, let's do the second one, which is uh, the simplest. All right, so this one is saying, um, determine the exponential decay equation for this, state, for, for this element. So they're saying we initially have two kg of radioactive element and uh, and in 7,250 years, there will be 1.5 kg. So using the same equation, Q of T is equal to uh, Q naught of T e to the power kT. This is what is going to tell us what we're going to have. So uh, the first thing to find the exponential decay equation, you have to find the value of K. So how do we do that? So we first replacing that we have what we have been given. So we're saying after this number of years, we are having this left. So we're going to have 1.5 there. The initial, they are telling us to, that it's two. 
and then we have e to the power uh, k, and then the time has been given to be 72, um, 7250, that's the time. So we just have to make k the subject. So how do we do that? We introduce lean on both sides. So introduce lean this side, lean this side, so that, or before we do that, let us first divide by two. So we divide everything by two, by two. So we have uh, 1.5 by two there, which gives us 0. Um, 1.5 by two gives us 0. 0.75. So we have 0. 0.75 being equal to e to the power k, um, I mean, to the power 7250k, 7250k. Then we introduce the lean on both sides so that this power drops down. So when you drop down the power there, we're going to have the lean of 0. 0.75 being equal to 7250k lean E, but lean E is equal to one. So this one goes, I just want to remain with um, 7250k being equal to the lean of 0. 0.75. Divide by 7250, divide by 7250. So the value of K is simply just the lean of 0. 0.75 over 7250. So this is the value of K. So the exponential growth equation, um, I mean decay equation is going to be uh, QT is equal to Q naught T e to the power, um, the lean of e to the power, the lean of uh, 0. Uh, 0.75, everything over 7250. So this is the exponential growth, I mean, decay equation. And then the question, the second part says, how long will it take for uh, half of the element to decay? So half of the initial element to decay. So half of two is what is one. So I'm going to put one this side. And then here um, we have the initial, which is two. And then we have that there. So we have the lean of 0 0.75 over, 7250. So what we do here, we divide by two, divide by two, so that we have 0 0.5 this side being equal to e to the power, the lean of 0 0.75 over 7250. Then we, we introduce lean on both sides so that this drops down. Um, we're going to have the lean of 0 0.5 being equal to uh, the lean of 0 0.75 over 7250 and then lean E. So lean E is known to be zero. We forget about that. And then we can just we can just make T the subject. I forgot to put T this side. So we're supposed to have T. There's that T there. So we make T the subject. So making T the subject is simply just by dividing by this part on both sides. So we're going to have our final value of T as the lean of 0 0.5 over uh, lean 0 0.75, everything over 7250. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be teaching the second years this time. That's why I'm rushing. But anyway, let's just finish because this is the last question in the tutorial sheet. You can't leave it. All right, so we proceed. So do we have a specific unit for time? Um, it's uh, one hour. If I exceed, then it should be one hour, 20 minutes. That's what I've set it. Now, that one for uh, 7250. Okay, which Are one? You that 7250, 7250 years. Yeah. Why are you not supposed to sub, hmm, why are you not supposed to Changes to hours. Mm, not really. Okay, the time. If you've been given the time, the I think if you depending with what you've been given. If it's in years, the only way. I mean, the only conversion you can make if you want, you can take it to days, maybe. 
you don't uh, if it's in hours use it as hours if it's in days use it in, use it the way it is in days if it's in um, minutes maybe you can take it to seconds or if you want you can use it in minutes but if it's in weeks take it to days but if you want you can use it in weeks meaning the final answer will be in weeks not 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 days or anything yeah so just make sure that when you write your answer you indicate so the time here is in years you indicate the final answer to say the final solution is in years it's in this number so if you convert that you take it to hours means that the answer that you're going to get should be in hours okay so we move on to this how long will it take until there is 250 grams of the element so 250 grams we're dealing with kg so the only difference here is that you have to convert this to kg which is going to give you 0 0.25 kg and then you write this um uh, and then the initial there we know that it's what it's two and then you have e raised to the power that which is the lean of 0 0.75 t over what 7250. So here it's just a matter of, um, okay, we're just going through the same procedure. So when you divide 0 0.25 by 2, you're getting 0 0.125 being equal to E lean 0 0.75 over 7250T. So you introduce lean, introduce lean so that this drops down. So you have the lean of 0 0.125 being equal to um, the lean of 0 0.75 T over um, 7250, and then lean E this side. So lean E is always equal to one, so you can leave it. So you just have to make T the subject of the formula and um, you get your solution. So the solution will therefore be equal to the lean of 0 0.125 over the lean of 0 0.75 over 7250. Yeah, so this is the solution. So if you have been allowed to use the calculator, you can just put this on the calculator and the answer that you're going to use, I mean, that you're going to get is the final solution. All right, see you in the next uh, uh, tutorial video. So if you have any questions on what you have learned today, just that I don't have time or have allowed some questions. Uh, you can simply just come and ask them. The moment we just begin tomorrow, before we start binomial, I'll give you time to ask on logarithms if there's anything that you didn't understand on logs. Right. So thank you very much. See you in tomorrow's session.